Okay, a uh, few settings that I have enabled and disabled for optimizing Warzone with a Ryzen CPU. First, go to your power options, choose a power plan. So I'm using a 5800X 3D. Choose balance. This helps the performance of the cores actually enable correctly. Um, the frequency stays higher, 4.4 or 4.5 gigahertz. If you choose high performance, sometimes this actually hurts the clock ratio and it actually de decreases the voltage and de uh, decreases the actual megahertz. Um, another option you want to turn on, since this has been a newer update, this actually helps uh, stabilize like frames and also helps eliminate any notifications or Windows updates and downloads in the background is go to gaming, uh, game mode, turn enable game mode on and then you also while you're in here go to graphics and you want to change this if this is off make sure it's enabled you'll have to restart your computer um, if you enable this and you see stuttering or any type of performance uh, degradation I would again disable it um, let's go into Call of Duty and go over my quick settings really fast I usually average on Warzone between 180 to 220 frames per second. So this is a the way I have my settings currently are it's a pretty good balance of performance and visuals I'd say. Let's see here. Okay, skip that. Graphics. Set it to full screen exclusive. Make sure your actual graphics card is <clears throat> selected. My screen refresh rate is 165, so it's 164 hertz right now. I'm playing at 1440p. Make sure that's actually enabled and showing correctly. Uh, if your computer is balanced, like I have a 4070, 5000X 3D, so using NVIDIA Reflex low latency on seems to establish the best performance on plus boost sometimes you can see some hiccups or stuttering or a little bit of lower frames since the the machine is equal if you do have a lower cpu or a lower gpu maybe try using on plus boost um always have vsync off quality um i know a lot of people run fidelity cast because it's the sharpest but i was running this I switched over to DLSS and put it on quality. You get better frame rates, and the image quality is actually a little bit sharper than Fidelity Cast, leaving the sharpness at 80%. Uh, VRAM, you want to set this at 70%. You can try 80. I think 70 is a really good uh, performance metric as far as like stability goes. I don't have any type of texture conflicting or any type of texture flickering or anything like that. If you do have an 8 gigabyte card or less, move it down to 60. Uh, texture resolution I have normal and anastropic filtering I have on normal pretty much everything else is going to be off or low it just hurts pretty much any performance uh, it doesn't help anything with visibility at all view um, I played 120 FOV uh, wide view for the weapon and definitely make sure you have all of these off and your camera movement is the least amount as possible um, audio, I'm playing with a HyperX Cloud 3 headset. Um, I have the volume set to 90, and I use the PC speaker audio mix. It sounds the best. Footsteps are the clearest. Headset, for some reason, does our headphones does not sound, uh, doesn't make head, our uh, footsteps prominent at all. It's already hard enough to hear footsteps in this game, so I think this is the best option. That's pretty much that's pretty much it. Oh, I have the interface set to filter two as far as colors go. And I also have uh pack a lot showing server latency. The uh, color customization, I have it set to filter two for in both. Helps with a little bit more with vibrancy. And this game looks kind of washed out if you crank up the brightness too much. So this kind of helps with that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope this helps you guys out.